everyone, welcome back. This is Miss Kiru, your favorite English teacher. Now, do you see a lot of words on my whiteboard? You do. Okay, do you find something similar with this pair of words that you see? You must. Now, what are these similarities that you can see? Do they look the same? Do they mean the same? Do they sound the same? Yes? Exactly. Now, today's topic is going to be all about homophones. What are homophones? Homophones are basically words that is pronounced exactly the same, but they carry different meanings and of course different spellings. That is what we are going to be looking into. I have already prepared a set of words for you and I will be explaining the differences in these two words. Alright, let's start. First, you have the word aunt and you have the word aunt. Now, what is the difference? First of all, the word aunt over here is a noun that you are most likely to use to call your mom's sister. But here, we always practice calling a random lady as auntie or aunt. The next word, aunt, that is actually a contraction of the word are not. Are not. When you contract the word are not, you would get the word aunt. So, aunt and aunt. Alright? So this is a contraction. Next is a very famous word we all know, correct? Eight and eight. The first eight is the past tense of the verb eat. And the next eight is the number eight. So one is a verb, the next one is a noun. So this is a verb and this is a noun. The next pair of word that we have is break and break. The first break is actually a noun. And the second break is actually a verb. The first break is the break that we have in vehicles. The special feature that we have in vehicles, which when you use it, it would stop the vehicle from moving. The next break we have is the action of breaking something. For example, breaking a pen, breaking a cookie. Alright, so the first one is a noun and the second one is a verb. Now, let's look at the next set of words that we have. We have board and we have board. The first board is actually a noun. The second board is actually an adjective. An adjective that you use to describe your feelings or emotions that you are going through when you have probably nothing to do. The first board is actually a piece of board that you are most likely to use for art and crafts or anything per se. The next board is when you feel hmm, so bored. I've got nothing to do, teacher. That's the word we are talking about at the second word. Alright? Next, we have the word chili and chili. What is chili and chili? The first chili is of course the ingredient or the vegetable chili, which is super hot, which is super spicy. The next chili is actually an adjective used to describe the weather, which is very cold, very calm very soothing. You just want to go into your blanket, have a good bowl of soup and enjoy your day. Alright, the next set of words we have is deer and deer. Alright, the first deer we have is of course the animal deer. So this is a noun. The second deer is actually one of my favorite words because I call my students all kinds of sweet names. I call them darlings, I call them loves, I call them deer. So dear is a word that you use to address someone who's very close to your heart. Alright? So you have dear and dear. 